Hey everybody, Jonathan Weinman here, and today I'll be going over how MIDI maps work in the DWE control application. So a MIDI map is a list of MIDI notes assigned in a certain order, so you can trigger drum software such as DWE Soundworks or a drum module's internal sounds. Different drum software and modules often have different MIDI maps, which are determined by their manufacturers. If you're gonna be using the DWE kit and DW Soundworks, then you shouldn't need to adjust the MIDI map settings, as they're gonna be set for you during the installation of the software. But if you're planning to connect the DWE kit to a different drum VST instrument or a drum module, then you'll wanna know how to adjust the MIDI map settings. Let's go over to the computer and dive in. So once we have the control app open, let's click on the MIDI map button. You can see it opens a pop-up window. There's a drop-down menu for the MIDI map options. The default MIDI map that's loaded is the DWE map, which means it's ready to go with DW Soundworks. If you want to use another software or drum module, you'll see the available options in the drop-down menu. If you want to change the MIDI map, just select the one you want to use. You can see there's a ton of options to choose from, including popular roll-in modules. You'll also notice the MIDI instrument section that shows the selected instrument. There are multiple instrument type options in the drop-down menu, from kick to user-defined MIDI type options. These let you assign a specific MIDI note to an instrument type. Below the MIDI instrument section, you audition specific sounds by clicking in the box that corresponds to the zone of the drum, cymbal, or instrument you want to hear. You'll need to have your drum software or drum module loaded or connected to hear the preview. You can also make a copy of the MIDI map in case you want to make a custom version of it. Just click on the box with the three dots and select Add Copy. This will let you name the MIDI map and then press Enter to save it. Once saved, you'll see a new MIDI map listed in the user map with the name you used to save it. In the Pad Zone boxes, you may see a small drop-down arrow. If you click on it, a MIDI note grid from 0 to 127 will appear. This lets you select a MIDI note for the zone you've selected. This makes it easy to audition MIDI notes and find the sounds in the drum software or module that you want to assign to certain zones or instruments. Once you assign the note number, just hit save and that note will be saved with that zone. You can do this for all the trigger zones on your DWE kit. After you've selected all of the MIDI map note assignments and saved the MIDI map, you can close out of the pop-up window. But if you want to use a drum module and have the Drumlink Hub not connected to a laptop, you'll need to save a MIDI map to the Drumlink Hub so that it remembers the MIDI map settings. In the same menu where we saw the Save MIDI Map, you'll see a Save to Hub option. Note that to power the Drumlink Hub, you'll need a USB power source. A USB phone charger is recommended, and some drum modules such as the Roland TD50 can power the hub through a USB. You can also export a MIDI map to use those settings on another DWE kit or maybe share with a friend. The next option we'll cover is the import MIDI map. Click on the three dotted box again, open the drop down menu, and you'll see the import option. This can be useful in adding other drum modules MIDI maps or other drum VSTs to use with the DWE kit. The last two options are rename and remove. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Rename lets you rename a user MIDI map, and remove lets you remove the MIDI map. Well, this wraps up the MIDI mapping menu in DWE Control. You can see how highly flexible it is, totally customizable. Again, I'm Jonathan Weinman, and we'll catch you again in the next video.